All right, Pope Francis hosted and participated with some other cardinals. You're going to see it here. In a pagan ceremony invoking not the Father or the Son or the Holy Ghost, not invoking for intercession the saints of the one true church, but invoking Western Grandmother and the circle of spirits. Volume up. Listen to the words carefully, my friends. I'll open the four directions. I will whistle four times. This is a wild turkey bone I've had for about 20 years, and I use it in my ceremonies. Before I do that, I'd like for you to put your hands on your heart, each one of you. Look at all the cardinals there. They are participating in a pagan, non-Catholic liturgy. And they're wagging their fingers at you saying, you cannot participate in the traditional Latin Mass. The heart can be like a talking stick. But that's where the Creator put wisdom in humans. And we often need to remind ourselves of this. It's an important gesture. I ask the Western Grandmother to give us access to the sacred circle of spirits. You cannot participate in pagan rites. According to the old canon law, they are all automatically excommunicated. You know what the immediate penalty for heresy is? Excommunication. And it doesn't require the act of a bishop. And I don't care if you are a bishop. If you don't believe what we believe, you excommunicate yourself by definition. Latte sententiae, ipso facto, the action itself. Francis the Destroyer, dividing the church, reducing the sanctity, issuing stamps of Martin Luther, coins of Pachamama, putting Pachamama in St. Peter's Basilica with processions and incense. I came home from work and my kids were in the living room invoking Western grandmother in order to get access to the circle of spirits. I would throw over tables and start sprinkling holy water and saying, stop what you are doing. You are bringing demons into our home and into your hearts and into your lives. Stop this nonsense. Get your rosary beads, get the holy water. We're going to start praying. We got to call a priest in and exercise our home because y'all have strayed off the path into paganism and in superstition. That's what a dad does. That's what a father does. That's what a holy father should do. That's what a pope should do. That's what the vicar of Christ should do. What does he do? He invites the diabolical and the demonic into the church. I'm at a loss. I do not see how Francis Bergoglio can be the vicar of Christ.